So you know what you want to do, have to do, or should do, but yet, as soon as you have a chance, your first thoughts are to do literally anything but that. You seek out distractions in hopes of finding short-term gratification or some meaningless excuse, but deep down, feelings begin to grow. Shame, avoidance, irritation. But you blanket these feelings by telling yourself you're just taking a break. You still have time, you'll do it later. But wasn't that what you told yourself yesterday and the day before and the day before? Guilt, discontent, disconnection. This feels like escapism. Left without check, escapism becomes more than just a catchy song, but becomes this foreboding melody in your life for unhealthy behaviors, anxiety, depression, and stress. It reminds you of something you heard in an engineering textbook, the one degree rule, where if the trajectory of a plane headed from JFK, New York to LAX, California was off by just one degree, it would miss its destination by over 40 miles and end up lost in the Pacific Ocean. But that won't happen to you, you're still in track, it's just the swans, right? The weight of this list of things you want to, have to, and should do grows exponentially. Eventually, you guilt yourself into finishing that one important task for the deadline, but you know that there was more you wanted and could do. Deep down, there's this feeling that all those things you left undone in the past still continue to eat away at you in the present, leading you towards a quality of life where you wonder, why is life so boring? You worry about having this amazing future in 10 years, yet you're not really worried about wasting the next four hours on whatever. You're not where you're supposed to be. You're not who you want to be. You used to resort to blaming the circumstances, but nothing ever really changes and you're still left waiting for help, bound to repeat the cycle. So you decide it's time to try something new. Figured, new year, new you. Something focused not on the uncontrollable circumstances, but rather the controllable mindset. Your mindset. Something to stop the chatter, stop the obsession to find excuses. Through trial and error, you discover that, in addition to your ambitious goals and plans, that it's actually more important to outline the small, actionable tasks, next, first steps, to make it easy to follow, to make it easy to take action, to make it easy to start. Because often, starting is the hardest part. You learn to change the order in which you do things. You begin to prioritize things that are important to not only who you are today, but things that push you towards a future identity you know you'll be proud of. And so you begin this journey. It's discomforting, but hey, you're trying. You learn more about your personal preferences, like that the state of your physical environment directly correlates with your mental state. So you begin keeping organized, removing distractions, and setting physical reminders to help nudge you along your goals. You create routines. You create habits. You're creating a new improved life and mindset. Eventually, your efforts begin to pay off, and this leads to a feeling of accomplishment, feelings of fulfillment, and it allows you to take breaks that are truly guilt-free. You feel present, focused, and grounded within your purpose. But yeah, deep down you knew that this momentum and mentality won't last forever, and of course there'll be times when you resort back to your old ways, but hey, that's okay. No need to be too harsh on yourself, it just means you're human. The only difference this time is, now you're left with a choice. Will you choose to apply this newfound mindset and strengthen your ability to ultimately escape escapism once again? <laughs> it's corny, you know, but the choice is yours.